So a lot of people are on the sidelines. They don't want to get into astrophotography. So this probably the mount that would be a lot cheaper to get into astrophotography. Hey guys, so you must have seen my video with the Skywatcher AZ ZTI. I converted that small mount into an equatorial mount. So you can see the counterweight here and it is carrying the Celestron travel telescope which is 70 mm and you can see in the live view over there uh, the moon and I was able to use the SynScan hand controller and control the movements of the moon uh, left and right basically you can, I can uh, control the mount right. So this entire thing played randomly I was actually looking for how do I convert this into an equatorial mode and I did order a counterweight it came in and the counterweight bar didn't fit. So I found on some of the old Orion like you know the manual mounts the counterweight, counterweight bar it's basically M12 threads and I used their uh, counterweight as well. So but it is available for us to buy the similar counterweight bar as well. I didn't install any drivers yet I just so excited to show you all uh, this setup. I did put the Celestron travel 70 mm scope uh, back of it you see here is the uh, Swiboni SP350 I believe the camera uh, which has got the 290 sensor the one that you just saw. I have to put a little bit of extension for this one for it to come into focus. So the back focus is like way too long for this camera but it uh, uh, focused perfectly right now. So now this mount is converted into an equatorial mount right. I mean you can see pretty much uh, you can see the moon you can take pictures of uh, probably if Orion and all comes you can take a pictures. So I'll show you guys how I installed it how I uh, created this whole thing in later videos. It does require a pretty long detailed video how to install everything here but it's not that complex. I mean if you have all the parts that you need probably requires like 10-15 minutes and you should be ready to go.